Hey everybody, I just want to show you how to use the gallery wrap actions. Um, okay, the very first step that you're going to do is you're going to do all your editing and everything that you need for your photo. And then you're going to crop it to the desired um, final size. So let's just say we want to do this one as an 8x12. Um, so you'll go and crop it to an 8x12. And once you crop it, then you're going to go find the correct size. So over here, if it's going to be less than 20 by 20, and you want the one one and a half inch gallery wrap, or if you want the two and a half inch gallery wrap, you'd select this one. If it's an image that's larger than 20 by 20, then you would select one of these two. So for this one, we're just going to say that we'd like it to be the um, the one that's less than 20 by 20, and we want just the regular size gallery wrap. So you're just going to hit play. And what it's going to do is it's actually going to go through and it's going to do all the work for you. And at the end, you're going to end up with a couple of different options. So you shouldn't really have to do anything. It's just going to kind of work for you. Um, there might be one option you'll see here when it starts that it's going to say there's going to be a stop action. You can just read that the first time. But then if you go uncheck it right here where you can see my little spinning wheel, then it's not going to play that anymore in the future. So once you um, once the action is done running, and it takes a little while because it is giving you so many options to choose from at the end, so this should all happen for you. You shouldn't have to do any of this type of transforming or anything as long as your image is cropped to the correct size. Um, so it's still working. It's going to take a little while because you know they're they're basically ta it's taking the image and flipping it multiple times in order to make it work. And then it's also putting on an optional vignette for you, and it's going to give you a few different options to choose from at the end. So now you're going to see, okay, at the end, um, you can have a few different options. And if you just click Stop and now click in your Layers panel, let me just make this a little smaller so you can see. Okay, so here's your, here's your vignette, which, which you can take on or off. Here's your main image. And then you're, you have all your different wraps. So what you can do is just play with the combination of different wrapping. So if you want your flipped wrap, you can take, um, you can leave this one on. You can also have the flip wrap blurred showing. So if you want this one showing, this one needs to be at the top. So you would need to take this one off. Or you need to move this layer up so that the blurred one is at the top. Um, or you can always try, if you don't like either of those two, you can do this one, which actually looks really cool um, when it's printed. Um, the one that I use the most is going to be this um, flip wrap. This is the unblurred one, but this is the one that I use the most is going to be this flip blurred wrap. Now what I would do is, I don't really mind this, but I don't really want this extra arm. So what I would do is I would just click on my layer and use my um, clone tool. And I would just go and just clone this extra arm out here like so and then if you want you can even you know touch up some of this if that would be better for you um, now sometimes you'll end up with a little extra line here too and I would just go and take this out as well now the other thing that you can do is let's say that you want um, the images just to be white on the side you can just go and insert another layer and you're just going to put it over the top of this one, but not over the main image. And then you can go, and look, let's, let's say we want it to be red and we want to pick up the red in her dress. We would just go and click the red in her dress and add your optional layer and it's going to put it right in the edge. And if we decide that we don't like that, then we can just take this image back out or change the color. Now you can see because the, the vignette is on the top, um, the vignette is showing too. So we could either take the vignette on or off. We can even play with the opacity of this layer, and then we would see a little bit of it showing through. So there's, it's giving you a lot of different options. So then once you figure out how you would like it to look, let's say I would like to print it like this, then I just flatten my image and order it right through. Um, I use White House for all my gallery wraps. Hopefully that is helpful. Thanks.